The judiciary convened a press conference today to showcase its success in extending adequate and timely justice to Ugandans. Dr. Pas Bujirimana, the permanent secretary of the judiciary, highlighted achievements such as the transition of the Supreme Court and Court of Appeal from rented spaces to nearly furnished court facilities. First on the agenda, to shift the apparent courts, that is the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal, from the rented premises, we are at 99% of the Supreme Court. What is remaining is <coughs> to test the electricals. Recently, we added the High Court circuits, Wushenyi, Chiboga, and Chitugum. And all of this is being done to make sure that the people of Uganda get justice. It is a right to have your justice delivered. Delays in the courts will really be minimized. The other one was to do with the bail, bail refund. According to the information I have, this year that is ending, we had bail correction of 6.189 billion and we have refunded 1.8 billion. So the question in which you might ask me is why is bail refund less than what was um, corrected? There are major two reasons. One of the reasons is that people who pay bail, when they are acquitted, some of them take off. They, they don't want to come back. They think they have survived the, the case. And some of them who maybe are lucky and they are greedy and the, 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 the judge, judge says, you can't go. They take off. They don't want to come back for a bill of 500,000 shillings. So they run away, they go away. But the other reason is that some people do not know how to process to apply for their bail. And I remember the chief registrar really was on, on the media talking about it. She even went ahead to issue a satura. Bijimana emphasized that swift resolution of commercial cases is imperative for preparing the economic transformation of the country. Of the districts, so that people can walk to court instead of going to a taxi to go to court. We are also intensifying the use of alternative dispute resolution mechanisms. And which are these? Mediation is one of them. Pre-bargaining is another. So this coming financial year, mediation is, to, is going to be given priority. And we have seen cases which have been disposed of through pre-bargaining, saving government billions of money. And we are going to focus on a quick disposal of commercial and land disputes, which have got serious economic implications. Let me repeat this. There are many cases in the commercial court. Some of them are in trade, Others are in the banking, others are in construction, others are in insurance, and this hair of money that is tied in this court. So imagine if cases were disposed of and the money goes into the economy. Then Minister of Finance through URA will collect more money because the tax base will have improved. So we are concentrating on that. Now, let me give you the total free lines, which you should ring whenever there is a problem. However, challenges such as inadequate staffing within the judiciary continue to impact the delivery of judicial services. Then number two is the inadequacy amongst some of the key justice agencies. Judiciary does not work alone. 
judiciary has got other institutions which work with the judiciary, like the office of the DPP. In the criminal cases, if you do not have enough prosecutors, these cases cannot take off. If the attorney general's chambers, the state attorneys are not enough, many cases will not take off. If the Judicial Service Commission is not operating at 100 percent, there will be these inadequacies. That's why recruitment sometimes delays. So, if you don't have enough CID, then you might have problems in the, even the prosecution because CID is supposed to investigate and investigate properly because for the DPP to defend the case, she or he must have a good investigation report. Otherwise, investigations can go on, produce uh, reports which are not uh, uh, authoritative, and the case is lost. So we need the CID to investigate, hand over to DPP, DPP prosecutes. Then number three is inadequate transport. I have said, and I want to thank government, by the way, that government has been so considerate because at least we bought vehicles for oral judges. Even these ones who were appointed recently are almost getting the vehicles on the road. Maybe by March I should be having the vehicles. But I'm saying these are not the only ones because you have got a number of judicial officers in the district who are frontline managers. Cases of land cannot be concluded without visiting locals. A judicial officer has to go to the site and look at a contested land and be well informed before a judgment is done. So, we need transport. We need transport for the inspectors. The public has complained about the absenteeism in the courts, malpractices in the courts. We need inspectors to do inspection without even notice so that they can know what is happening. The other one is to do with a few institutional houses. We don't have institutional houses in hard to reach, hard to stay areas. Areas like Buvuma, Karangara, Uyende, Karenga, Napak, all of those, Buko, Nakapriprit, Moyo, Buheju. We are trying to see how we can have institutional so that these people, these judicial officers can stay there. In some places, you have got nowhere to rent. The court is there, but there's nowhere to rent. So we want to solve these problems so that the people of Uganda can get justice. Furthermore, Bijimana outlines various mechanisms implemented to address case backlog and combat corruption within the judiciary. First, finally, of course, is the corruption that sometimes uh, makes work difficult and makes the people of Uganda really cry. We are trying to see that we have sufficient information. And please, media, I have told you before, and I have requested you, give us information, authentic information, over these corruption cases, and we deal with them. In many cases, we have addressed uh, those we have been uh, informed about, and, and we need to continue. We have introduced putting on uniform by court clerks, by process servers, by drivers, so that those who have been masquerading as the judicial officers in the, in the courts at least can be identified. We have uh, introduced a total free line 
for everybody to to ring in case you get information of corruption. This ECMIS which we have introduced is partly responsible for fighting corruption because person-to-person uh, -person interaction is minimized. You fire online, so you don't interact with anybody. So all of these are aimed at fighting corruption. We want to make it very unattractive. We are also going to concentrate on court recording and transcription system. Uh, we shall get two systems for Tororo and Busheni High Court. But we have got other areas who have uh, instituted this transcription equipment. This is going to help the judges, the judicial officers, concentrate on listening than writing. We are trying to get away from the primitive, archaic way of doing things so that the judge can look at you when you are in the dock. This is what they call a demeanor. The judge must see you, your body language, and be able to determine whether actually you have got a case or not. But if he's busy concentrating writing, then he will not have the time to look at you. So we are going to intensify this. Now, we are also going to complete the development of a judgment writing tool. There's a, a, a tool that is being developed. So that judgments have got uh, a template that can be used uh, writing judgments than spending much of the time judges writing and maybe getting out of uh, of, the, of the way and the, so this is going to help them. I have already told the, the, the question was, which was asked how many courts have been constructed. I have already told you about the court of appeal and Supreme Court. I don't need to repeat that. But maybe I'll give you an opportunity to maybe to take photos and or maybe visit one or two floors. What do you think? You can go there and see and see what I'm telling you. The judiciary remains optimistic that prioritizing service delivery, especially in providing adequate and expedient justice for all Ugandans, will be a key focus in the year 2024. We want to see that we get um, two boats. Actually, one of the boats is being completely assembled for Buvuma uh, and Kalangara, so that these courts can be reached. We are also going to procure 50 motorcycles. Now, as a policy, we are going to also intensify the procurement or alternative power sources. And we are going to concentrate on solar because hydro sometimes uh, fails us. So we would like to see that solar energy is uh, procured for these other courts. And we shall concentrate on 12 courts of Kabira Meido, Nebi, Nakaseke, Kore, Nabweru, Wukedia, Busia. Judiciary is committed to ensure that justice is accessible to all. And our goal is to improve business processes in the administration of justice. Therefore, we are implementing several measures, increasing the coverage of automated uh, services. By the way, I must also tell you that recently the Judicial Council approved establishing of new magisterial areas, grade ones, so that we can reach the deep end of the districts, so that people can walk to court instead of going to a taxi to go to court. We are also intensifying the use or alternative dispute resolution mechanisms. And which are these? Mediation is one of them. Pre-bargaining is another. So this coming financial year, mediation is, to, is going to be given priority. And we have seen cases which have been disposed of through pre-bargaining, saving government billions of money. 
And we are going to focus on quick disposal of commercial and land disputes, which have got serious economic implications. Let me repeat this. There are many cases in the commercial court. Some of them are in trade, others are in banking, others are in construction, others are in insurance, and this a hair of money that is tied in this court. So imagine if cases were disposed of and the money goes into the economy. Then Minister of Finance through URA will collect more money because the tax base will have improved. So we are concentrating on that. Now, let me give you the toll-free lines which you should bring whenever there is a problem. 